Hanak Enoch 93. After this, Hanak began to speak from a sefer, and Hanak said, Concerning the children of righteousness, concerning the elect of the world, and concerning the plant of righteousness and integrity. These things will I speak of, and will I explain to you, my children. I am Hanak. In consequence of that which has been shown to me from my heavenly vision and from the voice of the watchers and holy ones, have I acquired knowledge, and from the tablet of heaven have I acquired understanding. Hanak then began to speak from a sefer and said, I have been born the seventh in the first week, while judgment and righteousness wait with patience. But after me, in the second week, Great wickedness shall arise, and fraud shall spring forth. In that week, the end of the first shall take place, in which man will be saved. But when it is completed, iniquity shall grow up, and he shall execute the decree upon sinners. Afterwards, in the third week, during its completion, a man of the plant of righteous judgment shall be selected, and after him the plant of righteousness shall come forever. Subsequently, in the fourth week, during its completion, the visions of the holy and the righteous shall be seen. The order of generation after generation, and a habitation shall be made for them. Then, in the fifth week, during its completion, the house of glory and of dominion shall be erected for ever. After that, in the sixth week, all those who are in it shall be darkened. The hearts of all of them shall be forgetful of wisdom. And in it shall a man arise and come forth. And during its completion, he shall burn the house of dominion with fire. And all the race of the elect root shall be dispersed. Afterwards, in the seventh week, a perverse generation shall arise. Abundant shall be its deeds, and all its deeds perverse. During its completion, the righteous shall be selected from the everlasting plant of righteousness, and to them shall be given the sevenfold doctrine of his whole creation. Afterwards, there shall be another week, the eighth of righteousness, to which shall be given a sword to execute judgment and justice upon all oppressors. Sinners shall be delivered up into the hands of the righteous, who during its completion shall acquire habitations by their righteousness and the house of the great king shall be established for celebrations forever. After this, in the ninth week, shall the judgment of righteousness be revealed to the whole world. Every work of the wicked shall disappear from the whole earth. The world shall be marked for destruction, and all men shall be on the watch for the path of integrity. And after this, on the seventh day of the tenth week, there shall be an everlasting judgment, which shall be executed upon the watchers, 
and a spacious eternal heaven shall spring forth in the midst of the angels. The former heaven shall depart and pass away. A renewed heaven shall appear. And all the celestial powers shine with sevenfold splendor forever. Afterwards, likewise, shall there be many weeks, which shall eternally exist in goodness and in righteousness. Neither shall sin be named there forever and ever. Who is there of all the children of men capable of hearing the voice of the Holy One without emotion? Who is there capable of thinking his thoughts? Who is capable of contemplating all the workmanship of heaven? Who of comprehending the deeds of heaven? He may behold its animation but not its ruach. He may be capable of conversing, but not of ascending. He may see all the boundaries of these things and meditate upon them, but he can make nothing like them. Who of all men is able to understand the breadth and length of the earth? By whom have been seen the dimensions of all these things. Is it every man who is capable of comprehending the extent of heaven? What is its elevation is and by what it is supported? How many are the numbers of the stars? And where all the luminaries remain at rest.